Hey Sagittarius, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a general reading for June 2024. Any information you need, you can find it in the description box down below, Sagittarius. I do have personals open for the time being. I actually have a deal going on right now. It's a three-question video read. It's 3333, and you get it within three business days. So everything's down there for anybody who may be interested, of course. But we're going to go ahead and begin and see what we've got here for you. This is for Sagittarius, June 2024. What do we have here for Sagittarius? June 2024. This is for June 2024. Okay. Your first card out is the Page of Wands. Okay, so some of you, you could end up connecting with a fire sign, or there could be something going on here with a fire sign child. Like, um, you know, and this doesn't, it could be your child, but it could be, you know, someone in the family. I feel like you could be spending more time um, with a fire sign child here, but this could also be a new passion, okay? This could definitely be a new passion here, a message coming in about something that you may want. Somebody's like, hey, I figured you may want to know about this. Um, so yeah, there's something like that happening here too. It could be a message from a fire sign. You do have the emperor showing up as your next card. Some of you, there could be something going on with your father or something potentially going on with an Aries or possibly an older male, okay? Um, with this energy being present here, sometimes this can talk about being head over heart as well. I feel like you're really trying to be logical in a situation. I'm not going to lie, Sagittarius. I do feel you a little bit frustrated with somebody here in that emperor energy. So on one hand, I feel like, yes, that could be the person that you're dealing with, being older or maybe being male, maybe being an Aries or a father. But, you know, um, I also feel like it's you kind of in a very frustrated energy because you're having to defend or protect something. Um, the chariot. Okay, so sometimes this can talk about your vehicle or a move. Sometimes it can represent a Cancerian, um, but it's victory. It's triumph over obstacles. It's for movement. So I love to see this showing up for you here. All right, now you have the three of swords. Saturn and Libra relationship obstacles. This is showing up to clarify that page of wands energy. So, you know, with this being present here, I will say that I think whatever this message is, I feel as if somebody's trying to lift your spirits potentially after a heartbreak or a disappointment. Somebody's like, hey, you know, I thought you'd want to know about this. Like there's this opportunity or I thought you may want to go with me here. You know, there's something like that going on. You're being, some of you, you're being invited somewhere, maybe on like a vacation or something of that nature. I feel like you're being invited somewhere and um, others of you, I feel like there is an opportunity that's coming in maybe after a missed opportunity, if that makes sense. It's like maybe there was a job that you wanted and you didn't get it, for example, and then there's something else that comes along and I I feel like whoever this is, they are communicating that to you. This is very specific this time. Feel free to watch out for your other signs. This is the kind of reading that I feel, you know, you wish you were in person for because when your hands are like on the cards, you really get your energy in the cards. It can be even more specific than this. Um, we have the seven of wands showing up to clarify the emperor. Wow. Yeah. And it's like I said, that's where that energy of frustration was coming from. I'm telling you, I feel like some of you could be blocking, like blocking this, um, this masculine energy, whether it's male or female, you know, whoever this is, I feel like you are tired of having to defend yourself to a person or you're tired of having to explain yourself. It's that kind of energy here, Sagittarius. I feel like you're done. I feel like you're, you're blocking someone. You're cutting them out. That's the energy that I feel here. Cutting ties. Um, clarifying the chair. Some of you, you may have your car worked on. See, again, I feel like this is getting very specific. You may have your car worked on in the month of June. Something's getting fixed, but I feel like this, this is a good thing. I feel like something's getting fixed or something is getting maintenance. Um, but yeah, I do see you blocking a person and I do feel that there is an opportunity after some sort of heartbreak. Two of Pentacles is showing up as your overall energy. I do think it could be a month where you are moving things up and down or moving things around. Like maybe you're having to move money around or move time around. Some of you, that could be why you're frustrated. There could be a person here who's taking advantage of some help that you're giving here or some energy that you're giving somebody may be expecting you to like lower your standards knight of swords gemini energy yeah, I feel like it's a time where you're having to really stand up for yourself. Ten of Wands, wow. Yeah, Sagittarius. There's there's definitely an energy here who's taken advantage of the work or the effort, the time that you've put in. Maybe even the money that you've put in is something. And I feel like that's why you're in Seven of Wands energy, just protecting yourself. And you're like, back up. You know, that's the vibe that I feel you in. Just cutting someone out here. And you're looking at a new beginning with that... Um, with that Page of Wands energy, Chariot energy, can't shake that feeling here that you're looking at a new beginning because there was some sort of betrayal that went on here or someone just simply like wasted your time, which is, you know, a form of betrayal, right? So yeah, I definitely think that um you were led to believe that something was going to happen or something was going to go through and it did not. Um, so yeah, let's see what else we have here for you. 
the Nine of Cups, a new support system, a fun time. This is a card of pleasure, a wish fulfillment. Um, the universe having your back. I feel like the universe supports your decision to move forward and move away from something or someone here. It could be a Pisces or Gemini involved somewhere in the mix. Four of Cups, because it's just not getting you anywhere. This is just a very unproductive way to spend your time. And I think that's exactly what you're realizing here in the month of June. And I feel like somebody's even further proving your point you know that's the energy that i feel here four of swords and i do think that for some it's like you're even more at peace in letting this go it's not just about um you know wasting your time i also feel like this person could have also caused some chaos caused some up and down energy here so yeah i do think you're headed for a new beginning though so that's what should be focused on like i said i do feel uh, some of you that chariot it could be travel that could also be what the nine of cups is about like an enjoyable environment so you could definitely be uh, going on a vacation traveling whatever the case may be i also feel like i said some of you could be down in the dumps about a missed opportunity but i do think someone in your circle could bring something through like i feel like they are communicating something to you about a new opportunity now. So that is what I'm seeing here, Sagittarius. I hope that this was helpful or fun or wherever you needed it to be. Details are down below for anyone who's interested in personals, Instagram, or Patreon. But if this is where we part, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.